Trackhouse has a new billionaire investor, Rockingham teases a return, and NASCAR hosted other cities at the Chicago street race to potentially hold other street races. <laughs> Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. Kind of a busy Wednesday when we talk about it. Trackhouse has a new billionaire investor, Rockingham's teasing a return, plus we have NASCAR talking to other cities about a street race, or at least hosting them. I also came to the realization earlier that I have a lot of gray hairs and I'm not super excited about that, but we're all going to get through this together. So let's start off with Trackhouse. Trackhouse has taken on a new investor, a billion dollar investor, that being the Avenue Sports Fund. The former owner of, the co-owner rather, of the Milwaukee Bucks, Mark Lassery, has now bought into track house which has to make justin mark's dad pretty happy about that since the family money was used to help start off this team by chip ganassi racing and now track house has turned themselves into a major player in the motorsport space right they have uh, nascar cup series teams they have drivers in the xfinity series they have drivers kind of spread out all over the place plus they have a moto gp team they got their first podium at the uh, german sprint race earlier what two weeks ago i guess or last week whatever it was so they're making plays here so Avenue Sports Fund, they invested into Trackhouse. They actually invested in the Trackhouse Entertainment, which is the parent company of Trackhouse Racing. In his statement after the acquisition of a significant minority stake, I think that's actually really worth noting right here, Mark Lassery uh, said that he looks forward to working with Trackhouse as they continue to compete aggressively in the NASCAR Cup Series and MotoGP, and they continue to look at other forms of motorsport, which I think is really interesting right there. Justin Marks, go ahead and buy that IndyCar team. Let's get SVG to run the double. I think we all just want to see something like that happen now but justin marks has flirted around with indycar before he was at the indianapolis 500 he always kind of dabbles around maybe he and ed carpenter can get something done who knows but it would be cool to see track house make that move into indycar as well i also think we understand where that money comes now for the third charter that they're going to acquire from the stuart haas racing fire sale and likely put shane van gisberg in full time into the cup series next year this investment is major for track house and it's a major step you know, for this team and their financial future. And if you think Trackhouse is the only team out there looking to take on a sports fund like this, an investment fund, you'd be wrong. Everybody is right now. It's the Wild West. People are trying to find new investors, new people to bring money into the sport. And honestly, this isn't going to be the last time we see a hedge fund, a, a sports fund, anything like this, you know, um, buy into a nascar cup series team the charter system has made cup teams very very attractive very intriguing to investment funds it now has a tangible asset that being the charter and it continues to go up in value unless you're gene haas and i think that's going to bring a lot of more money into a lot more money a lot of more a lot more money into the nascar cup series specifically because of that charter model so for track house this is great for their financial future it also gives them the opportunity to attract more new sponsors track house has done a great job at attracting sponsors having now the avenue sports fund with them they have offices in europe asia the middle east as well as north america they can make a play for a number of different and potential new sponsors not only in nascar but on the moto gp side as well and whatever av other avenues of motorsport they you know plan to go down but hey at least Justin Mark's investor plan worked out a lot better than Shiv Roman and Kendall's investor plan because that did not turn out well at all. So moving on to the other news that we had from Wednesday, Rockingham Speedway's owner, Dan Levenheim, has teased a return of major racing to the famed Rockingham Speedway. The Rock hasn't hosted a NASCAR sanctioned race since 2013 when Kyle Larson absolutely waxed the field in the Truck Series race. They haven't hosted a NASCAR Cup or Xfinity Series race since 2004 when Matt Kenseth won the last race there. Duel, out doing rather uh, Casey Kane to the line really intriguing track really interesting track one mile high bang um, absolutely eats tires so people have been trying to save Rockingham like they're Dave Ramsey and up to this point it, it hasn't worked in the sense of bringing another major series back the track has exchanged hands a few times at one point it's going to be turned and built into apartments for veterans that plan didn't work out and now the new owners Dan Lovenheim right here was able to receive a decent chunk of change from the state of North Carolina to repay the racetrack and make other capital improvements to the facility in 2021. The same money that helped, you know, renovate North Wilkesboro, helped add some stuff to Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, Roy Cooper was just on a spending spree back in 21, and apparently he just really likes racetracks because he was helping fund everything at that point. But it was able to allow Rockingham to make those improvements where they could host, you know, NASCAR sanctioned races. They do have safer barriers. They have a repaid racetrack. They have the grandstands there. They have everything that you could want in a racetrack, and everybody is going 
going to point to Carson Hosevar saying that NASCAR is going back to Rockingham on a Twitch stream earlier this year. Maybe they are. Maybe it's going to be the Truck Series, the Xfinity Series, not going to be the Cup Series. And honestly, I'm fine with that because within those two states, South Carolina and North Carolina, you'd have like upwards of six races. And that's just entirely too many. You'd have two at Charlotte, North Wilkesboro. So there's three, if I could count on my fingers correctly. Two at Darlington, there's five. And then you would add in a six one. Like, I think that's just probably too many in that range right there. And then if you throw in Virginia, as well as Eastern Tennessee, then we're looking at even more races. There's another uh, six races right there. So yeah, I think that would just be an oversaturation of the market. But if they want to put the trucks there in the Xfinity Series, I think that could be a pretty uh, formidable venture for them. So for the Cup Series to go back there, it does not seem like it's going to happen. But a return of racing to Rockingham would certainly be welcomed by, by most. It's an interesting racetrack, like I said. It's quirky. And if it continues to eat tires like it does, maybe that could be the solve for NASCAR's short track problem because we'll have to wait and see what the new tires do. But Rockingham did not ever seem to care what tires you brought there. It was was willing to eat all of them up we'll have to wait and see if it's going to actually return with a nascar race but likely not going to be a cup race and then we have the last topic of the day and that is nascar hosting other cities a couple weekends ago at the street race in chicago so nascar hosted other cities about the possibility to show off what they've been able to do in chicago and maybe potentially hold a street race in their city so of course we heard last year that nascar had talked to other cities about hosting a street race denver was a possibility seattle was mentioned in there as well and both those cities would be great would it happen in either of them who knows but what nascar has been able to do in chicago is nothing short of remarkable to be able to set up like they did set up and tear down and then host Host that event like i said i've raved about it enough you guys are probably sick of it it was a really really fun and enjoyable event so if they are able to attract new cities that are interested in hosting i think that's a really good step in the right direction for for nascar it's become a property that people are interested in and i think that's a really good thing if people want to host nascar nascar should absolutely listen and hopefully we go to somewhere interesting a market that they haven't already gone to would probably be the best bet there and you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with it. But I think this is a good move by NASCAR to not only host, but to also have discussions about potentially hosting another street race. Maybe it's a replacement for Chicago. Like I said, maybe it's a second one. Either way, this is a good move. I know people are not going to be happy about it. It would likely have to come from an ISC date, which date is that? Well, who knows at this point? But I, I know people don't necessarily love the street racing uh, from an outreach standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, from an accessibility standpoint. Street races are good for the sport, but I'm with everybody and not wanting them to be majority of the, the races or even a quarter of the races. Uh, I do think that there is a spot on the calendar for them, though. So let me know in the comments what you think about track houses, investors, uh, Rockingham, potential return for that, as well as maybe another street race being added to the calendar. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.